hello friends welcome to free cat tutorial and in this tutorial we will convert this drawing into the 3d model with the help of a part design workbench and this tutorial is designed for the beginner user before starting this tutorial if you like my method of teaching then you can support me on coffee.com your small support will help this channel to grow and it will also motivate me to create more awesome and useful content on free cat you can find my coffee page link on my channel header in about section of my channel and i will also provide my coffee to page link in a video description you can also visit my website macnexus.com where i write the articles and tutorials on a free cat so let's start our tutorial so this tutorial is designed for the beginner user who just started learning the free cat and here we will use the part workbench so i will create a new file and i create a body and uh, we will parallelly read the drawing and we will do accordingly now i will uh, on my plane and here as per our isometric orientation so we will design our uh, base features on a top plane so i will select the xy plane and i will create a sketch so here is the dimensions so this is the there is a whole of r20 and uh, total uh, radius is in a side view we can see that it is a 52 by 52 so I will uh, create uh, one rectangle and I will give the dimension so I will select the line and I will give the 52 and this one is the 1825 so I will delete this line and I will create a three point arc and now I will make it tangent now I will constrain the center so before that I will make it horizontal now I will select this point and this point and I will give the horizontal dimension 18 plus 25 now I will move my dimension 52 outside now I will make this as a construction and I will draw a line and I will give it a dimension of uh, 15 and then I will connect with a line now I will switch to the combo view and let's see what is the conflicting I will delete it so this is our base profile and we are going to extrude our profile by 20 mm so I will click on the pad and I will keep it symmetric so I will select symmetric to the plane and I will give the dimension 20 and I will say the OK so now we have uh, made these features and now I will make this one a rectangular block of a 15 by 52 so again I will switch to the my browser tree and I will on my plane and this time I will select the mid plane and I will create a sketch now I will uh, draw a rectangle better to project the outer edge and now I will uh, select the rectangle 
and I will simply coincident this and uh, this now I will come out of the sketch and this is the 52 as we inside view we can see that it is a 50 by 52 sorry 50 by 52 by 52 now I will click on the pad I will create click on submit it to the plane give my dimension 52 and I will say ok now we will make this feature so for this we will again select the mid plane now I will create a sketch now first we will see the our part orientation so there are the two method by which we can make this feature either we can select our uh, XY plane and we can create this feature and then we can remove the material but we have selected the top plane which is a right choice because we can avoid uh, this uh, fillet tool if we if we make from our front plane then we have to remove the material but in this case we do not have to remove the material so let's sketch it so again we will select the outer edge and I will uh, draw the two line and then I will select the three point arc and I will uh, draw an arc and then I will make it tangent and here I will make it horizontal this center and then I will give the dimension which is a 25 from the edge I will give horizontal and I will give 25 and here it is a not merge so I will merge it and let's see what is the unconstrained ok so this radius R20 20 now we will rotate our sketch so we can see that uh, here is the open area so I will select the line and I will connect these two so our sketch is fully constrained and we can see here this is a 25 mm in a thickness so I will close it and I will click on the pad and here I will give 25 and I will keep it symmetric to the plane and I will say ok now we can see here it is a counter bore hole but we will do in a different way instead of making the hole uh, we will use the revolve feature and let's see it is up to you how you want to make these features you can use the uh, cut options by removing the material you can use the hole feature or you can use the revolve cut so it, I mean I am going to use the revolve cut feature so I will select this plane and I will uh, create a sketch and now I will uh, create a line and I will give the dimension or better I will uh, switch to the wireframe and I will off my plane and I will project this geometry and I will give my dimension which is a 24.5 
5 and I will also project this one and I will uh, trim it dimension got removed so I will again give the dimension say ok and now we can see that uh, outer dia is a uh, 25 and inner one is a 16 and here is the depth is a given so what I am going to do I will uh, draw the profile you can use here the polyline feature which would be much better now I will make this point horizontal this one also horizontal now I will close my loop and let's see what is the conflicting here so I will delete these two now I will give the dimension so this is the 25 so this will be the 12.5 or better I will select this line twelve point five inner one is a sixteen so this will be the eight and this this is the three three mm so I will select the line give the three mm here also three mm now here is unconstrained let's see okay so I will select this point and this point and make it vertical so here is our uh, revolve profile now I will switch to the flat lines and uh, I will come out of the sketch and we will use the revolve cut feature so here I will again switch to the wireframe so that I can see the axis now here is a groove feature which is also known as a revolve cut so I will select it and uh, I will switch to the flat lines this is happening because it automatically took an axis but uh, we will select our axis with the help of a select reference ok so if you are facing difficulty switch to the wireframe and then select it so here scale 3 h2 has been selected and now if I switch to the flat lines then you can see that uh, this feature is made with a single command which is a group so it is up to you how you can model this feature with the help of a whole cut or revolve as I did and now I will make a hole so I will select the face and create a sketch I will uh, project my geometry I will select the circle create one circle this is the 20 mm so I will select it give the diameter of uh, 20 so it is a radius so I will give the 10 now I will close it and I will go to the pocket and from the drop down I will select the true wall and I will say ok now uh, we will create the fillet at uh, all four corners so I will 
select all the edges all four edges I will select all four edges and give it a radius of arc 10 and I will say ok now we have to make this feature but uh, here is a dimension is missing because if we give the radius and this angle okay but we need a position here which, which is not given in this in this drawing so you can made approximate with the help of a pocket tool so i am leaving it with you and i will provide this source file in a video description so that any beginner user can download my 2d drawings and my 3d models and practice it step by step as I have uh, shown you in this video now <coughs> I am uh, finishing this model at this stage except this sketch now we will learn how we can apply some colors to our part so click on the last features go to the appearances here you can give the color of your desire and here I am going to use the chrome one because it looks very shiny so this is the uh, all about this tutorial how we have successfully converted this 2d drawing into the 3d model and uh, i hope you have liked this tutorial if you like this tutorial then please like subscribe and share my channel and uh, also support me on coffee.com your small support will help this channel to grow give your valuable suggestion in the comment section of the video thank you for watching and thank you for your valuable time